I was able to put memories in this one without finishing it. Curious. Yeah, man, you're, you're heading out here very soon, aren't you? Hey, your friends went down to Colorado. That's where I'm at. On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rudolph. Oh, we just read that. Okay. Well, there's something right there. What is that? Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. It's the Meow Mix song. <laughs> Why can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classics Replay, The Godfather. Hold on, I kind of want to stay and watch this. <laughs> a memory. Okay. Kid really watching The Godfather? Going to California in a few days? Sick. Uh, I'm getting chat mixed up in my brain. Hold on. Yeah, it's... It's hot here, for sure. I stay inside a lot now, because it's too hot. Sweet blender. Really, can activate. A blurry mo note from Colin's mom. I want to read it. Or not. This room is all tiny now. Nothing. Okay, so there's nothing here. What is... Nope. Up here. Oh. Someone throwing up by the toilet? Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reaper makes it sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. <laughs> oh, the reverb on a triangle. Okay. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Wow, not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save that crap. Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy is done, done. We finished on Monday. Um, the, the VODs were supposed to be up on YouTube, but the splitting program I use have, has been messing up a lot lately, and today when I went to uh, add them all to YouTube, I realized that the splitter had broke again. Which was obnoxious, so I had a get off work, resplit them. Unfortunately, yesterday I forgot to rename my file, so overwrote my Monday's file, which was Final Fantasy, so I had to re-download crap from uh, YouTube, which means the quality was worse. But it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, that'll be up tomorrow, probably along with uh, yesterday's play of this game. Which kind of drives me nuts, but catches us back up on the schedule. Alright, prepare this memento. Some blanks help to remember, some help to forget. What the? There's no things. Interesting. So I'm revealing all the, um, when they go through the green. That's cool. Okay. Actually, it's not really. It's kind of annoying. Oh, never mind. It's not bad at all. I thought I'd have to find them all in this maze. But the idea is, as soon as it crosses the green, it, uh, it makes one. So that's cool. That was different than the other ones we did. We got another clock. Okay. This kid likes clocks. Are we going to get a watch at some point?
All right, we're slowly making our way towards middle life. People are looking for you, you know. Nervous for your last performance here? I'm not- Oh wait, what was her voice? Yeah, yeah, then I have to get it younger. I'm not nervous. It's just, I've played in this theater for so many years. It feels strange to just have this be the last. Well, you never know. We can always visit. This place isn't going anywhere. I saw what you were gonna play, by the way. Not my most virtuistic piece, huh? Well, I kinda like that one, but I thought you didn't. I guess it's grown on me. I knew it. Just a little. <laughs> hey, we still got some time before the concert starts, right? Go get your cello and come play with me for a bit. That'll help calm my nerves. Aw, that's cute. I thought you weren't nervous. Oh, she's going upstairs. Are they gonna do the hanky-panky? Let's get your cello a euphemism. There are children here playing this game. Being my maturity level, being a child. Yep. That clock is there. Nothing to click on. Okay. What is that? Nothing. Hello. Who's got the best nose? You do. Uh, have, is he talking to a dog? Oh, yes, you certainly do. What are you looking at? He's like, oh, I'm out. What? And the music's gone. Uh, hello? So, what did you want to play? Doesn't matter much, really. Why don't you just play your scales and I'll do... <laughs> I'll do that accompaniment. Oh, wow, accompaniment. Accompaniment! There it is. For it. Hey. What? Are we trying to calm you down or me? I happen to find the simpler things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. Scale theme. I think Sophia played accompanied or accompanied Collins scales. Okay. Man, she's doing all the work while he's just playing the scales. Then you used to play the triangle in a band? <laughs> yes, and the triangle is one of the most <laughs> nuanced and misunderstood instruments there is. <laughs> she just like, sure. <laughs> oh, oh. I found it. They sure try hard to play some fancy scales. I love the music, it's so good. Alright, what am I missing? I have four of these to find. Oh man, I understand completely Crimson. So I I was getting three to four spam calls a day. Uh, actually, not even necessarily spam, uh, impersonators. Um, and uh, like they impersonate IRS and stuff. And uh, 
So I just would block every single one of them and I did it for a couple months and they finally stopped for like four months and now I'm getting six a day and it just started up again and it's driving me insane. Freaking. Ugh. Stupid phone number. I think someone either sold my phone number or it got hacked from like a Facebook thing or something during the Facebook leak. Oh my God, where are these? There's nowhere to go for these memories. This is it. This is the little area. There's nowhere else to go. He tried to sell you some solar stuff? Like legit or no? Is there a way out of here? Oh, there's nowhere to go. <gasps> wait, wait. Oh, thank goodness. Legit. Oh, yeah, totally legit. I used to like pick up and mess with them. Kind of like how Kit does. Obviously not on that level. Just to waste their time. But I think doing that is now detrimental if you have a real phone number because it adds you, them your number to a database. I'm like, this is a legit call. And then they start calling all the time. It's awful. What are you doing slacking off up here, Ash? Well, come on. I already set up a whole row of chairs. I've even named it Asher's Row. Everyone who sit will pay a toll. <laughs> oh? I'll let that take care of your allowance then. Not cool, Dad. Oh, hey, where's Mom? Not sure. Oh, wait. Not sure. I'm gonna go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down shirt. Your butt down here and help. Oh, God. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. I'm getting all the voices wrong. Yeah, all right. All right, we've got a new one. Sign the guy up for a car site to buy a car? That's hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice, Yuri. Curse you out. It's like, that's the best part about Kit's stream and stuff is when, um, like, their supervisor gets on or they go in a rage fit because he wasted like an hour and a half of their time and they just start cursing him out. You wasted my time, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, do you not realize how hypocritical you are right now? You are a scammer that lies to people to steal their money and waste people's time. Screw you. No sympathy. And then the indignity. And then Kit will call them on it sometimes. And they're like, blah, 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 blah. it's like, oh my God, you have to be a narcissist, crazy person to not realize what you're doing to people is what he just did to you. Oh, it's just awful. Yeah, that's awful. That's messed up. People are evil, man. Man, this place is perfect to play. Chair pack, man. <laughs> Share pack, man. If it's the same number, Gupless, block it, dude. Just add it to auto block on your phone. Those ones are the nice ones because, like, sweet, it's the same number. Once it's blocked, it's done. But now they're getting smart and they have rerouting of numbers. So it spoofs a number to make it look like it's from your area. So you're more likely to pick it up. It's awful. It's still when a guy wrote a script and called Scam Center 100 times in a minute. Yep. <laughs> he DOS the center with just that simple script. That's awesome. That feels good because that means it's just a, a crappy skull call center. They just don't expect someone to uh, reverse attack them. That is v vigilante justice, my friends. The lad grows young so fast. It's down here. 
Come on. Ugh, health insurance spam calls? Yep. You've gotten spam sender calls from yourself? Wow. Uh, they did a horrible job at, uh, writing their own scripts to port a number. I did, uh, I've gotten a couple that are one number off from my number. Like, that's too coincidental. He trolls, uh, trolls tech support scanners. Hey, Gupless, uh, message me that on Twitch. Or in, uh, messages if you wouldn't mind. I'll check him out. Uh, Kit, Kit Boga also does the same thing. Uh, but he has, like, a bunch of voices and stuff. And he's a cool dude. Here, we'll give him a shout out. What the? But Kit actually writes scripts and stuff too, and not only for the Scam Center stuff, but also uh, for his stream. He also uh, writes viruses and stuff for the uh, the scammers to click on when he says he walks away from his computer. Um, oh, okay, S spoilers. Uh, but this is one of my favorite instances. Uh, he walks away from his computer and uh, the scammer starts going through his documents because, you know, they're looking for bank information. They're looking for anything. And he went to his documents, he went to his folders or his pictures, and he had a nudes folder and the scammer jumped in it and Kit was just like, <laughs> and the guy clicks on it and it is just full of naked mole rat pictures. And I was dying. <laughs> and then Kit came back from uh, going to the restroom over and it's like, uh, man, uh, what, what are you doing looking at my nude mole rats? And he's like, no, no, sir, I, I wasn't, I wasn't doing it. And he just was like, no, I caught, I caught you looking at my nude mole rats. That's my personal property. And he's just going off. Oh, hysterical. I love it. Yeah, he's a, uh, he's granny guy. Granny Edna. Yeah, he does Edna. Um, he's got a, quite a few voices now. He'll, he'll, he tries to get scammers to sing songs with him on stream. Oh, that's funny. I actually got a really good clip of him. Um, he got the, uh, scammer to apologize to him. He was acting like an old lady or something. And, uh, he got a scammer to sing some sort of rap song. Or whatever, and Granny Ann is like, yeah, yeah, with him or whatever. And then he said some, I think he dropped the N-bomb. Or a curse word. Or something, and then Granny Ann is like, oh, "Why, Matthew? Uh, that's that's a horrible word. You you need to apologize." And he's like, "I'm sorry, ma'am." And he's like, "No, no, you need to apologize three times." <laughs> and just he made him apologize. I was dying. I don't know if you guys can find that, but if you go to the clips of my channel and look up uh, Kit Kit Boga in the search of the clips, you might be able to find it. Oh, it's so good. Shit, I need to find that. If if anything, if I remember after stream, I'll go post it in the Discord. Oh man, it's so good. The Siski and scammers. Yeah, when they try to Siski Siski a system. Yeah. It's flickering into another memory. Yeah, I don't like the flicker. It reminds me of horror games. Got hacked by a scammer, and the guys. Streamed him calling the guy back with him cling the scammers computing and deleting everything off the guy's computer. Yep, that that that's uh, that's probably Kit. Do you want the channel link or video links? Yeah, send me the channel link and then I can check him out. That way, if I get the channel link, I can you know follow him and stuff. Yep, that's yeah, Rose. I believe that's Kit Boga because he's like, I deleted your whole computer. And he's like, no, you didn't, dude. You're you're on a virtual machine. And then he boots up. He's like, oh, yeah, Bo start up your computer. I hacked it. You can't do it. And he's like, OK. And he starts up his computer just fine. And the guy just rages out. <laughs> so funny. Kills me every time. Oh, yeah. Or or post in Discord. That way everyone can follow along. That'd be just fine. Uh, or not. I love it. Vigilante justice. Any idea what that was about? How should I know? Well, you are the technician. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that happened this trip. 
Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a calibration? How dare!